welcome in the niche fortress here in Serbia and the roots from Serbia go all the way back to the times of the Roman Empire the Romans they built the foundations for what is now known as the niche fortress during the Middle Ages Serbia was ruled by the Nemanjic dynasty under the rule of Tsar Stefan Dushan the Serbian dynasty got into a very prosperous period, a golden era. However, this came into decline after his death. The Turkish Ottomans made use of this and they conquered Serbia in phases during the 14th and 15th century. Now a lot of Serbs fled to Hungary. See, they were Orthodox Christian, Turkish were Muslim. As you can also judge by the mosque you see behind me. Many Serbs converted to Islam but those who did not risked to be enslaved. So for several centuries, the Serbs found themselves oppressed by the Ottomans. But perhaps the most feared were the Yanitsars, was an elite army corps created by the Turkish. They took away babies from their Christian families and trained them to become fearful fighters. And once grown up, these Yanitsars terrorized the countrysides they were once born in. Now on several occasions the Serb rose against the Ottomans, but these uprisings were almost always suppressed until the 19th century. From the beginning of the 19th century it seemed clear that the power of the once so mighty Ottoman Empire was crumbling and Serbia became more and more a distant outpost. Two Serbian uprisings took place. The first Serbian uprising took place from 1804 to 1813 and was led by Black George. Now, this uprising would eventually be crushed by the Ottomans. One iconic moment needs to be mentioned, which happened in 1809, the Battle of Chigar, here in the surroundings of Nish. There, Serbian army commander Stefan Sujilic found himself on the losing side of the battle. His trench was almost overrun by the Ottomans, and he knew that surrender would lead to a cruel death, because the Ottomans not so forgiven. So therefore he takes his flintlock pistol and says his last words. Save yourself brothers for those who can and those who want. Those who stay will die. And he's pulling the trigger causing an explosion killing himself many of his fellow men but also 6,000 Ottomans. The first Serbian uprising was crushed by the Ottomans and they took their revenge. Hundreds of Serbs were massacred and thousands of Serbs were enslaved and this would lead to the second Serbian uprising from 1815 till 1817 led by the Serbian leader Milos Obrenovic and he spoke the famous words here I am and here you are war on the Turks a simple message and pretty self-explanatory now the Serbs managed to beat the Turkish in battle and what followed were negotiations with the Turkish Sultan. It was decided that Serbia became a principality. And during the 19th century, the territory of Serbia got more expanded. Now in 1878, the principality of Serbia became fully independent of the Ottoman Empire. And in 1882, it became the Kingdom of Serbia.